Hello, and welcome back to a new series of the House of Cavalry Museum's video podcasts. In this weekly series, I'm going to be looking at some of the extraordinary and often rare items in the museum's collection that are on display in London or in the reserve collection at Windsor. However, in this podcast, I have to start by dispelling a myth. There is a commonly held belief that one of the ways to distinguish British cavalry regiments is by the type of colours that they carry. The belief being that household cavalry regiments have rectangular standards and line cavalry have guidons with their distinctive split tail. This explains why, following the amalgamation of the Royal Horse Guards, the Blues, and the Royal Dragoons, known as the Royals, in 1969, that in 1972, the Blues and Royals added a guidon to their four standards, a unique addition to a household cavalry regiment. Sadly, neither the belief nor this explanation is true. When regimental colours were first standardised in the early 1700s, the Horse Guards carried two standards, Horse Grenadier Guards and Dragoon Guards each had a standard and a guidon, whilst dragoons and light dragoons had only two guidons. Subsequent reorganisations and redesignations in the 18th century meant that by the start of the 19th century there was no such uniformity. This was a situation that was further complicated by regimental amalgamations in the 20th century. Nonetheless, it explains why the two regiments of lifeguards were each issued with two guidons in addition to their standards when the four troops of horse guards and horse grenadier guards were formed into the first and second lifeguards in 1788, albeit that by the middle of the 19th century the lifeguards had abandoned their guidons. It also explains why the Royal Horse Guards which was in effect a Dragoon Guards Regiment until it was elevated to the status of Household Cavalry in 1820, was presented with a new guidon by King William IV in 1832. This guidon was carried on mounted parades until 1887, as shown in this photograph. It had its final outing in 1911 at the unveiling by King George V and Kaiser Wilhelm II, then Colonel of the Royals, of the Queen Victoria Memorial. The march past following the unveiling, which would normally have been by mounted detachments, was carried out on foot, as shown in this slide, because of an outbreak of strangles in the first lifeguard stables. At some point after this parade, the Blues Guidon was transferred to the Royal United Services Institute's museum in the Banqueting House at Whitehall, where it remained until 1962. When the Russi Museum was closed in that year, the Guidon was consigned to the Household Cavalry's Museum. There, with its finial tassels and belt, it remained in a box in the reserve collection until it was unearthed recently by one of the museum's volunteers the former Blue and Royal, Ivor Slade. Although the guidon and its belt were in good condition, the finial of St George slaying the dragon that topped the pole was a very sorry sight, and looked as though most of the gilding had been worn away, leaving just the base metal underneath. Nevertheless, careful and gentle cleaning by Ivor revealed that beneath the surface dirt, the gilding was intact and had in fact been laid over a solid silver casting. Further examination of the silver hallmarks showed that this extraordinarily beautiful finial was made in 1832 by a renowned London silversmith. He was James Charles Eddington, whose workshop was in Soho. Quite why this very valuable piece of silverware had been hidden from sight for nearly 60 years is a mystery, but the silver gilt finial 
is now on display in the Household Cavalry Museum's reserve collection at Combermere Barracks, Windsor. And the belt, tassels and the guidon itself can be viewed on request. One further mystery surrounds this important object in the museum's collection. As you can see, if you look closely at this slide, there are two battle honours on the right that should not be there. Whilst it is true that the Blues were present at Minden in 1759, Minden is not one of the regiment's battle honours. Even more curiously, whilst Cato is a Blues battle honour, at least Le Cato is, that battle honour refers to the action fought on the 26th of August 1914, 82 years after the Guidon was made and 27 years after it was taken out of service. So why are these battle honours on the Guidon? No one knows. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at one of the Household Cavalry's recently rediscovered treasures. Next week, I'll be talking about a rather unusual skull. Until then, stay safe.